The price of gold hitting a record high, but does that mean buy in now? Well, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. I'm not the financial expert, but let's talk to him, local financial expert Michael Mazer right here to break down the pros and cons of investing in gold. And I'm excited to talk to you about this, Michael. This is something I know very little about. I wouldn't even know where you buy gold or how that works. So first of all, why is it uh, reaching a record high? So gold had a, a little bit of a rough run in 2022, and it's kind of it's on the upswing now along with the stock market. And it also helps that there's some headline volatility. There's an election coming up. And when there's volatility in terms of you know politics or geopolitical events, those kinds of things tend to support gold. So mix all those things together, and gold's having a pretty good run so far in 2024. Now, it is really, really important that we don't try and rush out and time the gold market just like we shouldn't be trying to time the stock market. These things can swing up, they can swing down, they are unpredictable. So just like with investing with stocks, there should be a plan. Why are we investing in gold? Are we trying to diversify a stock portfolio? Are we trying to hedge against inflation risk or geopolitical risk? There should be a plan for this, not just buying it because it's at an all-time high right now. So just because it is at a record high, nobody's suggesting just buy it now, but nobody's suggesting not not to buy it either because of that record high. It could keep going yeah. higher. This is just like mm. the stock market. No one knows, and I'm not going to make any predictions. I don't mm. know either. But if we're going to buy something, let's make sure we have a plan for it. What? Why would somebody buy gold versus investing in the market? So there are arguments to be made that gold can be. It's they, they call it a flight to safety. People assume that you know gold is a bit more stable. There's a bit less volatility. There's more demand for it. It's a commodity, and it's not tied to the valuation of companies or the stock market. Now that being said, for long long-term investments, I'm talking 10, 20, 30 years, the stock market tends to outperform the price of gold. Gold is just, it's a, it's a bar of gold. There is no companies with earnings or dividends or, or producing more products or services. It's just a bar of gold. You're banking on, down the road, someone will want to pay me more for this bar of gold than I bought, bought it for today. Hmm. But uh, the volatility, is that what you're trying to shy away from if you buy gold as opposed That's, to getting in the stock market? Yes, that is the thought. There are points in time where gold has held up much better than the stock market. So the best example in semi-recent times is 2008. The stock market really struggled in mm. 2008. Gold, did, gold held up really well then, so it got a great name for itself. Uh, it struggled for a couple years after that compared to the stock market, and now it's bouncing back and forth. So there are people who are what, what they call gold bugs who will switch where buy gold. That's mm -hmm. I would never I would never mess with the stock market. I buy gold. I buy physical things. There are people who are gold haters, mm -hmm. and just like everything else, there's probably a gray area somewhere in the middle. It's the right, the right balance. Are we dealing with a finite amount of gold, or is this something that? So the, I mean, they're constantly words, mining for more demand. gold. Okay. There are gold miners constantly, but it really is a, supp a supply and demand story. If there is more demand than there is supply, the price goes up. Right. Vice versa, the price falls. And are you buying physical bars of gold and h hiding them in your house? Somewhere? So well, this is where it gets tricky. As I so, have you, a <laughs> so you can buy gold in an investment account, a gold ETF, where you own, you know, a shares of a gold ETF, or you can buy physical gold. Okay. In an investment account. The tricky piece is that some people buy gold because they think the world's going to collapse or whatever. And if that's the case, and you have a piece of paper saying you have an ETF of gold, it's probably not going to do you a whole lot of good. But if you buy physical bars of gold, now you have to deal with finding a broker for the gold, storing the gold somewhere. There are higher taxes if you go to sell that gold. It, you need to make sure there's a plan here for this. Yeah. And not to mention, you know, to, you made, made a comment, relatives, someone passes away, they, they, they're going through aunt and uncle's house and oh my gosh there's they lose the gold it's somewhere buried in the back we've heard literally it's, it got buried somewhere they can't find it mm. there has to be a plan yeah that's uh That's, it's funny to think about but um certainly appealing to someone who doesn't want to maybe go with the stock market and wants a physical tangible investment that's right, right. Uh, speaking of the stock market coming up next hour we'll talk about how to keep your money safe uh as we prepare for presidential elections yes another right. fun hot topic yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks michael sit tight